I can just imagine wearing this at the pool and the sun just reflecting off your lips. Oh my goodness. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would share my boxy charm with you guys. So let's just jump straight into it. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. So this one's theme is Make Waves, very summery. The first item in the box is from First Aid Beauty and it is their Coconut Water Cream. And I actually applied this before I applied my foundation and everything and it is really, really hydrating. It really does feel like water, like your skin is taking a sip of refreshing water and I love it. It says it's for sensitive skin, which I have sensitive skin. So, so far so good. Obviously I haven't been wearing it for that long, but I will keep you guys updated if any breakouts or anything occur. But so far, so good. The next item is from Ciate London and it is their Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. And, can we just take a look at how beautiful this looks? Oh my goodness. As soon as I took this out of the packaging, I like my heart skipped a beat. I love these kind of colors. It's so, so pretty. This would definitely be comparable to the Cover FX Shimmer Veil and the Stila liquid eyeshadows. I'm a huge fan of the Stila liquid eyeshadows. Oh my goodness. This shade would be closest to Wanderlust, I feel. Uh, I, I feel like I get the same effect with both of these, obviously. Wonderlust has my heart. This has always been my favorite, but this this is pretty close. This has this beautiful lilac-y purple gold flip and it's absolutely gorgeous. It was actually really easy to use, especially to create like a cut crease effect. So I really enjoyed this and I'm so glad we got this in this month's box. I love this. I had been wanting to get another eyelash curler because mine has been getting a little gunky. And so BoxyCharm somehow knows this and sends me a replacement with the same oil slick effect. Like what? What are the chances? This is the Pure Pro Eyelash Curler. And the Pure Cosmetics one does feel a lot more flimsy and cheaply made compared to this $5 one, which is surprising, especially since, yeah, especially since this is $18, like, no. This feels a lot more sturdy and I feel like it curls my lashes a little bit better, but I mean, it's an eyelash curler, you can't complain. It's not, it's not horrible. And it has the same oil slick effect that my original one had. So that that's pretty cool. Next we have this Colorette Blush Trio by Alamar Cosmetics. I know they have like three of them, I believe. This is the medium tan one. And these blushes are beautiful. They blended perfectly. And I love trios like this because this is what I usually would like opt to travel with because they do have like an orangey one and then like a like a brighter one and then a more subdued one, you know what I mean? But if I'm gonna be completely honest, I do end up blending like everything together and just applying it to my face, which is kind of what I did today. I actually mixed these two right here. It looks really, really pretty on and it wasn't splotchy or anything. It, it went on really well, so obviously. Glad we got this in the box. And finally, we got this Opaline Top Gloss by Oriza, Oriza, I think is how you say it. This is supposed to be a waterproof lip topper, which is actually really cool. Um, I really like the effect that it gave my lips. The glittery effect is pretty intense. Um, I think it's more intense in person than on camera. But yeah, it's definitely intense. If you're into wearing makeup around the pool, I would totally suggest this. This one is mainly like a peachy gold with a bunch of little pink and just multicolored glitters in here. It's super pretty. I can just imagine wearing this at the pool and the sun just reflecting off your lips. Oh my goodness. Let's do this kiss test. Oh, I used this Manicadar Lip Locked Priming Gloss Stain as my base, and that's the only thing that transferred, not the actual lip topper. There's no glitter fallout or anything. Wow, that's actually really cool. 
I like it. This is like perfect for summer. So those were all the items in this month's box. If I were to choose my favorite items, I, I wouldn't be able to. Literally everything was perfection, except probably this like eyelash curler. It's a little too flimsy for me, but other than that, everything was incredible. Well done, BoxyCharm. Well done. All right, guys, so that's it for my BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in your box this month. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.